गोड़े से शादी करेंगे या पाकिस्तानी से oh. <laughs> I haven't decided. I feel like it's a universal everywhere men disappointing. <laughs> oh yes. It really depends on the bond. These are the things you say, "Oh, I can't even joke in my own language." Dosti mein koi problem hoti thi kabhi. I just felt like, "Oh, they don't know about some of the things that I know about." But it was never too much of a problem. I probably wouldn't have felt so okay, "Oh my god, England or Pakistan mein kya farak hai." Aapko quality education lagi Pakistan mein. Over here, maths is taught, you know, at a very advanced level white kids don't do and they just felt like yes. how do you know that? how do you know that you're uh, such a genius right. which i really wasn't tolerance towards other people's religions towards other people's cultures homophobia is a real issue in the west in england you have a certain level of freedom it's just me over here i feel like i need to be more careful assalamu alaikum I'm Dr. Numana Amjad here and we are going to talk about culture human behavior societies once again today we have with us Ms Olivia Kasir she's a director at Bloomfield Hall Schools and she's also a filmmaker and she's made some groundbreaking some challenging um documentaries the first one was on arat march and it has been picked up by wise they also made a documentary on tiktok for wise and which is also uh running a good viewership so olivia is uh, brings a unique blend and a unique touch to our talks olivia grew up worked and got educated in two different cultures and two different societies ab culture jo hai wo to ek society mein bhi ek jaise nahi hote to do societies mein zahir hai bahut se fark hote hain to aaj hum olivia se kuch baatein karenge um olivia you studied in pakistan till high school uh yes till my o levels and then i went to the uk uh, and i did my a levels in london then i did my undergrad at soas and then i went on for postgrad at kings college and you know between that time i was always very back and forth between both countries and so i do feel like i have two homes um which sometimes can get confusing but also i know that there's an immense amount of privilege as well that comes with it so yeah अर्ली एजुकेशन के लिए भी बहुत सारे पेरेंट्स ड्रीम करते हैं या बच्चे कि वो स्कूलिंग भी बाहर से करें यू हैड दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी लेकिन आपके पेरेंट्स ने आपको यहाँ पे अपने ही स्कूल में आप पढ़े ब्लूम फील्ड हॉल में फिर आप रहे भी हैं तो जो बच्चियाँ थी जो फ्रेंड्स थी द पीपल अराउंड यू वर फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान उनका एक्सपोजर होगा किसी और कल्चर का बट दे वन नॉट लाइक यू वे आर वन ऑफ योर पेरेंट इज अ पाकिस्तानी एंड वन ऑफ योर पेरेंट इज इंग्लिश जी तो एक तो उनका आके पाकिस्तान में रहना और यहाँ पे इन्वेस्ट करना एजुकेशन में फिर अपने बच्चों को भी यहाँ पे पढ़ाना अपने एक लोकल स्कूल में तो दोस्तियों में कोई प्रॉब्लम होती थी कभी यू नो वॉट आई वॉज ऑलवेज वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स विद एवरी वन समाइम्स मे बी आई जस्ट फेल्ट लाइक ओ दे डोंट नो अबाउट सम थिंग आई नो अबाउट बट इट वॉज नेवर टू मच ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम एंड आई वॉज यू नो स्नॉब लाइक दैट और एनी थिंग बट या आई फील लाइक परहैप्स nowadays it's different because there we're more globalized mm. and uh, there's internet everyone has the same access to the same pop culture mm. which we didn't have back in the 90s and not in the uh you know early 2000s at least um so i think maybe if i was a child today i probably wouldn't have felt so ke okay, oh my god england or pakistan mein ta farak hai mm. but i think i did feel like that but it didn't stop me from being friends with people at all it was uh, mm. it was great and i had a really yes. fun yes yahan pe education ka level phir aap england se compare bhi kar sakte ho aapko quality education lagi pakistan mein i think that uh, you know when i went to do my a levels in the uk everyone thought i was a genius 
right. which I really wasn't. But, uh, you know, over here, maths is taught, you know, at a very advanced mm. level. Mm. Same with sciences. Mm. And actually, I think there is a lot to say about, um, you know, a lot of people say that Rata culture mm. is not very kind of uh, eye-opening. It doesn't encourage critical thinking. Mm. And I agree with that, you know, to some level. But at the same time, um, you know, I feel like with biology, for example, you know, I, I got concepts immediately because I just drilled it into myself mm. and something that like, I felt like white kids don't do. And yes. they just felt like, yes. how do you want it? How do you know that? You're uh, such a genius. And I'd be like, uh, no, no, it's, it's very uh, simple. So anyway, I think, you know, there are different ways you can look at education over mm. here and in, uh, uh, and in England. Um, I also think, um, Education has actually developed over time over here in, in a much more kind of advanced level. Mm. And people are mm. kind of encouraging crit critical thinking, which mm. is very important, mm. especially over here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I've actually made any yes. points here. Yes, it's a point. We are working very hard on our children. We are advanced level on their conceptual चीजों को सिखा देते हैं, ड्रिलिंग करना पड़ता है, आई थिंक स्कूल के लेवल पे, सो यू वर हैप्पी एट स्कूल हेयर, यू वर हैविंग अ फन चाइल्डहुड एंड ऑल, फिर आप जरा मेचोर होके बाहर गए, वेल ए लेवल इज स्टिल यंग, कल्चरल जो पॉलिसीज होती हैं पेरेंटिंग की, तो आपको लगा कि आपके पेरेंट्स आपको या आपके उनको जो आजादी है, उनके जो दोस्तों के साथ पेरेंट्स ने फ्रीडम दी है, जो ड्रेस की फ्रीडम दी है, जो सोशलाइजिंग की दी है, वो इसलिए है कि आपके पेरेंट्स लिबरल हैं या आपके अराउंड भी कुछ पेरेंट्स यही कर रहे थे जो आपके पेरेंट्स कर रहे थे। It's not always the case that you know just because I'm half English I was allowed to do every single thing. Obviously compared to some kids who were never allowed out by their very strict parents, I was given a few freedoms, but within controlled environments because I once again I was just a child and stuff. And even as a teenager, my mom was very worried because you know she. I mean, it is about a safety issue as yes. well. Um, yes. You know, even if you do have liberal values and stuff, you can't deny the fact that, uh, you know, sometimes it isn't safe out there for your child. Yes. And yes. so, you know, so I was allowed to go to concerts, but with a trusted older friend. Mm. And normally mm. it was a male older friend whom, mm. you know, my Could dad protect, know, yeah. knew as as colleagues and stuff. So mm. it was always very controlled. Mm. Uh, so yes. Um, and then of course, yeah, we had friends who were just never allowed out. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I don't think, I mean, I'm not sure whether me being half English is much of a factor because we mm. also had friends who had this, were on the same boat. Mm. Yes. Bilkul. But then of course we had friends who weren't. You know? So ye, ye parents ka responsible hona लेकिन बच्चे को कि फ्रीडम कर बिना करना उनको वो करने देना विच एस यंग दे नीड टू डू फ्रेंडशिप्स एक्सपीरियंसिंग लाइफ लेकिन उनको वॉच भी करना सो दैट्स अबाउट बीइंग रिस्पांसिबल पेरेंट्स विच योर पेरेंट्स वर एंड अदर रिस्पांसिबल पेरेंट्स वर आल्सो ट्राइंग टू कीप दैट बैलेंस व्हेन यू आर ग्रोइंग अप इन स्कूल फ्रॉम लेट्स से मिड 2000 टू टिल यू लेफ्ट फॉर ए लेवल गुड अब आप हो गए बड़े और आपने ये लेवल भी कर लिया अब इस पीरियड में एक और चीज भी लाइफ में आती है स्टडी और सेम सेक्स फ्रेंडशिप्स के अलावा अब उसमें मुझे कभी कभी लगता है कि ऊपर से लगता है कि हम कंजर्वेटिव सोसाइटी हैं हमारे पेरेंट्स हमें वॉच करते हैं लड़कियां लड़कों से नहीं मिल सकती ये वो कि रिलेशनशिप के लिए जो रूल्स बने और जो आपकी आइडियाज बने वो बहुत इंडिविजुअल थे या उसी कल्चरल मिलियो जो था इधर रहना वहाँ भी रहना लाइक यू वुड से कि नहीं अगर लंदन में ये लाउड है लाहौर में नहीं है ओके ओके आई गेट इट सो आई मीन फॉर एग्जांपल यू नो आई वाज वेरी केयरफुल ओवर हियर स्पेशली बिकॉज़ पीपल टॉक एंड आई 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 डोंट लाइक दैट ऑनेस्टली एंड आई डोंट आई यू नो माय डैड ही रन्स 
Bloomfield Hall. And, you know, he is a Pakistani man. And so, you know, I, I would never want to kind of embarrass him mm. or anything. Uh, whereas, you know, in England, you have a certain level of freedom as such. So, yeah. Yes, this is a very cultural thing you pointed out. We think about who knows my mother, who knows my father, who knows my father, who knows my father, who knows my father, who knows my father. So it's something one doesn't feel comfortable yeah. doing that much in Pakistan. But that was just me and myself. I think other people are much more emancipated as well. Uh, so it's just me over here. I feel like I need to be more careful. There are two cultures in both cultures. The girls and the close jo male friends in our life. Mein sabke hote mm. uh, I have old male friends from college time Gee. who have become part of family. Yeah. They are good colleagues. They have a life with them. Family friendship is made. So these two relationships in both cultures or you feel more comfortable with someone. Like Pakistani, man, man, boy, do you understand that this because a lot of children share this with me, that they think they were looking at someone as a friend, but the girls take them to the light. Is that something that is troubling the girls? I can only speak from my experience, and uh, I have a very selected few friends, both in England and in Pakistan. And uh, so, you know, they don't make me feel uncomfortable. Uh -huh. um, but of course, yeah, the... There are men out there who are not in my circle mein hai, mm. because I've kept those people far away mm. because I yeah, don't want to know someone who would breach, you know, a certain trust and yes. friendship that, you know, we have. Um, that's not to say it's never happened. It has happened. But then once again, you know, you yes. just uh, cut those people out, I Aapko guess. You have to take action for that and the attitude that you have to keep your attitude. Kar lete ho. To be not to be a fool, maybe, right? Basically. So smart yeah. girls yeah. know that yeah. uh, who is a friend and who is not a friend. And who is a friend, who is a friend, who is a friend, who is a friend. Yes, absolutely. But I think you also need good guidance, good kind of role models in your life, whether it's friends or, you know, your parents or an elder sister or something to help you come to terms with what your boundaries are, what's mm. good for you, what's bad mm. for you. Because sometimes, you know, uh, you feel like you always need to be nice to everyone. Because and actually, you know, cutting people out is, you know, part of, uh, you know, that growth. We'll talk about your work. Mm. Since you are both a filmmaker, mm -hmm. uh, was this a degree or was uh, you learned it through... Um, because you took it up as a hobby or your profession. But you did uh, a postgraduate degree in history. Yeah. And that history that you have done was indo history. Thi. You know, like 19th century, mm. a certain movement that you were working on. So did you think that this history was at that time ke Pakistan, India, ki hai, jab British was still here? So it was tied to your other part yeah. of history also. Yeah. Interesting tha ye kaam karna. Ji, bilkul. And uh, it was very interesting. Um, but it also makes sense a lot uh, when you see how um, Pakistan tends to link itself a lot to um, the wider Islamic community. They uh, love, so for example, other cultures, Turkey, mm. Um, mm. And of course, Saudi mm. Arabia, they have mm. very strong ties there. Um, but I think, you know, basically the crux of, no, it's not the crux, the conclusion isn't that. But one of the things that I came to from my research to know is that um, Indian Muslims did have a sense of insecurity within their own identity. Mm. And this is before they became Pakistan. So they mm. were still Indian Muslims because they were under you know, uh, British rule, they were against a majority of mm. um, Hindus who, you know, it was more and more likely that, you know, when uh, there would be a sort of azadi, then of course, uh, you know, religious politics would take over. And of mm. course, majoritarian mm. wise, uh, you mm. know, they'd be ruled by Hindus. So they had this kind of like insecurity about their identity. Ke hum kaun hai. Mm. So they always looked out towards, you know, their fellow Muslims abroad. Mm. And mm. so, yeah, I just found it really interesting as uh, my something to research. Yeah. So with that uh, background in history, which you studied, 
uh, you did A levels, you came back. Mm. You did undergraduate, you came back. You uh, or you continued to postgraduate, mm. but you come back again. You are a free bird to travel. Because you are British, you are Pakistani, you can go to any time in London. Um, that's also your home. Mm. So, with freedom, ke saath, but you choose. You are working here. यहाँ काम के कल्चर में सोसाइटी में आपको कभी कोई चीज बॉर्डर करे चेंज करने को दिल चाहे तो आप फील करते हो कि आपके इधर के लोगों पे आपका इन्फ्लुएंस होता है अगर आप ओपन माइंडेड हो अगर आप चीजें और तरह करते हो तो आप से लोग सीख लेते हैं इन्फ्लुएंस होते हैं कि हम हमें ओपन माइंडेड होना चाहिए I... Work in education now, and so I have a lot of hope in uh, the younger generation. I honestly do, and we hold lots of seminars on various things like climate change, mental health, and uh, women's rights mm-hmm. and gender disparity. Because you know these are young minds; they mm-hmm. they haven't hopefully been corrupted as yet, and so it's really important. And I take it as my duty to kind of ensure that kids grow up with. You know, stronger values and mm. an open mind. Mm. Um, but I mean, I have to say, outside of the school, I'm a little bit jaded. Mm. I don't feel like you know there's much to do around here. But I know that there are other movements and organizations that are mm. doing an amazing job. Mm. Um, so yeah, no, I'm I'm mm. very glad they're doing it. I don't think I have any influence over mm. it, unfortunately. Like in education is the biggest influence, yeah. especially with young minds. Yeah, giving them what you are giving them. Yeah, and perhaps we need to pay a tribute mm. here and acknowledge ke jo koi hamare mulk mein aaya hamare society ka hissa bana mm. they created institutions they ran institutions they became influential teachers in the life of young people in pakistan aapka jo dusra training skill or passion hai wo film making hai aur usme aapne bahut acche topics uthaye bhi क्या उसको भी एज अ मीडियम यूज कर सकते हैं फॉर एजुकेटिंग फॉर गिविंग अवेयरनेस क्योंकि आपकी दोनों जो हैं डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज जो मैंने बहुत गौर से देखी हैं वो अवेयरनेस ही देने के लिए हैं फॉर अ लार्जर ऑडियंस या आई वांट टू फोकस मेनली ऑन ह्यूमन राइट्स इंक्लूडिंग वुमेन्स राइट्स एंड वर्किंग क्लास पीपल एंड disenfranchised communities mm. especially minorities um so these are the kind of things that i'm interested in um i'm not sure how much really it can change the mind of anyone mm. i think it sometimes reaffirms people's beliefs mm. rather than changes anyone's unfortunately mm. this is something else i feel like mm. a little bit jaded about um and and i don't think it's just in pakistan i think it's worldwide mm. you know you have two sides to everything mm. um and so you know people always find enough research and representation on one side and the other side will do exactly the same and and uh so you know i think it it sort of uh it could help people sitting on the fence maybe um you know undecided mm. but generally people normally stick to their own sort of ah, algorithms jo unhone yes. believe karte hain usi se milti julti cheeze dekhte hain that's what you ah, mean algorithms mm. in a way mm. because they are very set mm. algorithms are very mm. set in our brains and in our thinking yeah so great that mm. uh, that sounds an exciting blend of being in education mm. and then also using this medium और गोरे से शादी करेंगे या पाकिस्तानी से आई हैवेंट डिसाइडेड एज आंटी वाला सवाल आता है ना हमेशा नहीं इट आई फील लाइक इट्स अ यूनिवर्सल एवरीवेयर मेन डिसअपॉइंटिंग ओह यस नो नो आई एम जोकिंग आई एम जोकिंग या बट आई हैवेंट डिसाइडेड एज यट तो मैं यही सुनती हूँ कि ये इंडिविजुअल की बात है वो गोरा भी हो सकता है अफ्रीकन भी हो सकता है चाइनीज भी हो सकता है कुछ से ज्यादा हमारी गुफ्तु चलती है बिकॉज लैंग्वेज की वजह से तो यहाँ भी ऐसे हैं जो कि इन बाउंड्रीज से बाहर हैं उनसे वेव लेंथ मिलती है यस एंड नो आई आई मीन ऑफ कोर्स डेफिनेटली यू नो इट इज अबाउट द पर्सन 
uh, kind of uh, connection with the other person. Research has shown that the most successful marriages are the ones where people are culturally similar. Mm. So where they have, mm. you know, similar background, similar uh, mm. religious sentiment, mm. everything. These things in the end, after the romance, you know, all the romance, then these things do matter. Um, however, I also do know of very successful um, cross-cultural relationships as well. Yes. Um, so, you know, those things come hand in hand, I feel. Yes. But, you know, of course, uh, I think if you do come from very different cultures, uh, it can uh, impact a relationship yes. over yes. time. Because, you know, how you want to bring up your children, uh, religiosity, yes. these things yes. mean a lot to people. Yes. So it's something yes. that, uh, yeah. You've raised a very uh, interesting point that, yes, it depends upon the person, but cultural similarity, which is marriage, ko करती है लेकिन पाकिस्तान में भी क्योंकि सब कल्चर सिमिलर नहीं है फैमिलीज में भी फर्क होता है एरियाज में फर्क है क्लासेस में फर्क है तो वो सब कल्चर्स जो है वो भी बहुत बड़ा डिफरेंस कई दफा क्रिएट कर देते हैं आप बहुत डिफरेंट फैमिली में पहुंच जाते हैं और आपको लगता है ओ माई गॉड मुझे तो ये पता ही नहीं था कि ये भी कल्चर होता है सो एक दफा मैंने पूछा है एक ऐसी लड़की से कि आपने एक गोरे से शादी हुई है आपकी तो क्या मिस करते हो इसमें ना ये सर बस जब उर्दू या पंजाबी का लतीफा सुना तो मुझे लगता है अब इस बेचारे को मैं किस तरह ट्रांसलेट करके बताऊं और वो बात करते करते उर्दू में जब चली जाती है तो वो बेचारे देख रहे होते हैं ना कि मुझे समझ तो आ रही है लेकिन वो जो एक उसमें एक पंच होता है एक खास मतलब होता है वो अपनी लैंग्वेज में होता है any message for young people for hope for future i guess within this context on culture um i feel like i'm in a very very privileged position and not everyone you know has the same opportunity so i don't feel like i can give such good advice but you know i think um it's really important to be open minded to everything mm. to um to embrace other people's cultures and uh you know if 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 you want your own culture to be accepted in the rest of the world you know it starts from home yes. um you know so intolerance towards other people's religions towards other people's cultures you, you know uh you see people about looking for example at the issue of islamophobia and uh, in the west mm. and yaha pe bahut upset hote hain mm. and which is very valid mm. uh, islamophobia is a real issue in the mm. west but uh, then over here we are oppressing our minorities yes. here so you know that double standard is really i think you know very very backward and something yes. that needs to be addressed in this society and you know if this podcast is going out towards our student it's uh, students um it's something that they you know need to address if they haven't done already yes. so an open mindedness a, t- a level of tolerance and love for humanity uh and not this jingoism which is of oh, my culture mm. and this kind mm. of gatekeeping mm. that people mm. do so i think that's the only thing i can offer well that's a, that's a lovely uh, message at which we will end कि अगर हम चाहते हैं कि लोग हमें तस्लीम करें हमें एक्सेप्ट करें हमसे नफरत ना करें इस्लामोफोबिया ना रखें तो हमें वही एटीट्यूड अपने अंदर पैदा करना होगा हमें अपने कल्चर में जो हमसे डिफरेंट है माइनॉरिटीज़ हैं या किसी भी और तरीके से डिफरेंट है उनको वही प्यार एक्सेप्टेंस टॉलरेंस कंपेशन देना होगा इंसान का हक देना होगा ताकि लोग भी मुसलमानों को पूरी दुनिया में पाकिस्तानियों को वो वाला हक दें जो कि ह्यूमन राइट्स का तकाज है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग विद अस। थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग मी थैंक यू